What's going on guys? Today I wanted to do a short clip. Um, I had a bunch of questions on Instagram and I wanted to answer that. So to answer the question about how to go about a home gym setup, you have three things to take into account. One, you have to worry about how much space you have. If you don't have much space, you're probably not gonna get a barbell rack, and if you're very limited, you're probably gonna get some dumbbells and some resistance bands. Two, how much you're looking to spend. Again, if you're looking to spend less than 100 bucks, you're definitely not getting a rack unless it's a used one. Three, uh, did I say two? I probably did. Uh, three is going to be, uh, what are your goals? If your goals is just to kind of get stronger, you're gonna be fine with resistance bands and some dumbbells and whatnot, but if your goal is to really build power and strength, um, you probably want to get a, ra a rack at some point uh, with a barbell and whatnot. To start with, if you're looking for a base kit less than 100 bucks, go with resistance bands and an adjustable dumbbell set. I'll post links again below. Probably most of it via Amazon just because it's easy. Um, when you buy uh, resistance bands, go with bands that are thick material. Uh, these are thick tubes right here, okay? Second when you do it, I say thick because that's gonna allow for these bands to last a lot longer, and it's also gonna give you the tension that you want. Um, but two, you'll notice that these have little holes at the end, these are for carabiner clips. Uh, the benefit of that is that you can connect bands onto one another, so that you know instead of me just lifting 50 pounds over time, I can add a 20 pound band and have 70 pounds total. Also, I can attach band attachment pieces, so if I wanna change it out or anything like that, and add stuff to it, I can do that as well. That's a nice base kit, less than 100 bucks, okay? Uh, very little space, it's really gonna help you out if you're a beginner or anything like that. As you advance, my recommendation is to get like a kettlebell. In that case, I'd probably start with a 25 pounder, um, 35 pounder if you're a male, 25 if you're a female, starting anyway. So, uh, and then as you progress, if you have a little more experience, get heavier weight and whatnot. For those who are more advanced or looking to spend a little more, more money or have extra space, um, my advice is a rack, pull-up bar. Um, you can buy a pull-up bar that goes over your door. Um, my advice for that is if you buy one that kind of swings over the crown molding or molding of your door, to put your washcloths uh, against the door and the pull-up bar, just so you don't leave any marks on the door, the molding itself. Um, outside of that, if you're gonna get a, a, kit, like a rack, uh, this is the Rogue Fitness, I think it's like an SL1 Economy or something. I'm a big fan of Rogue Fitness. Um, I'll put up a link of their stuff below of what I have. I have their kit. Uh, it came with literally the, I'm going way over two minutes. <laughs> um, it came with the Rogue Fitness barbell, the Ohio bar, the bench, the rack, the bumper plates, um, a medicine ball, three foam rollers, the Concept 2 rower, right there. Um, the box and a bunch of kettlebells. Uh, and an ab mat and jump uh, jump rope. So, with that being said, um, don't know where I was going with that. So, yeah, I would go with the Rogue Fitness kit. If you are lacking space, they have a kit or a rack that actually folds into the wall. Um, it actually works great. Uh, it's very stable, so uh, I would give that a whirl. And then, what else? Hmm. That's pretty basic. I would go with all that. So again, you're not really looking to spend a whole lot, go with the resistance bands and an adjustable dumbbell set. Uh, if you're looking to get further advanced, and a uh, kettlebell next, uh, and a pull-up bar. Um, another option with the pull-up bar, monster bands. So, these guys. Um, those are great to add in for bandits to pull-ups. Uh, if you're trying to get better at it, um, what else? And then after that, I would go with the squat rack uh, for a more advanced setup. Uh, if you have a little more space and a little more money to spend. So, uh, with that being said, I hope that answered your all's question with, regarding home equipment. Um, if you guys have any other questions, please do not hesitate to reach out. Post them below in the comments section. Um, we're gonna get back into videos, so if you have any advice, uh, again, this is me starting back, so if you have any advice on what you'd like to see me do more of, or 
be better at regarding videos and whatnot? Let me know, post below, and we'll go from there. Uh, if you like this video, press the like button. If you want to subscribe to see more, make sure you hit the subscribe button uh, to receive notifications and whatnot. Outside of that, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Have a great weekend.